Greetings, greetings up there in Jackass Flats. I'm making salt dough ornaments today, so I'm going to focus on what you see here. Salt dough ornaments can be made two different ways. You can cook them in your oven at 250 degrees for one and a half to two hours. Or you can let your salt dough ornaments air dry four to five days. Hi, Nova. Welcome in, honey. So today I'm going to do both. I am going to cook a batch in the oven. And I'm going to let a batch air dry and see how they work. You need only three ingredients. And water is really not an ingredient. Two cups of flour. All-purpose flour, one cup of table salt, and three quarters of a cup of water. Warm water works best. That way it mixes better. And I'm also going to use a quarter cup of cinnamon with a small batch. I have extra flour for dusting. You'll need a bowl. And of course, something to mix with. I have my whisk, a rubber spatula, and a spoon, a long-handled spoon. Welcome in, Vermont to Grows. How's it growing, honey? I'm going to make salt dough ornaments. So I'm going to add the flour here into my bowl. Two cups of flour. Good day to you too, honey. One cup of table, I'm sorry, yeah, one cup of table salt. Mix this up nice. I'm gonna pre-mix it before I add the water. I'm going to use these salt dough ornaments to hang on my tree and to add to little presents or big presents. I'm going to use jute cord when they're finished. A nice rustic look and put a little ribbon also with them. That's good to hear. Good to hear, Vermonster. So I'm going to add some water now. And I'm going to use my rubber spatula for this. Make a well. Just a small well. And I'm going to add a little at a time. Welcome in, Retro Arcade Music Man. How you doing, honey? I'm making salt dough ornaments that you could make two different ways in your oven at 250 degrees for one and a half to two hours baked as a cookie sheet, on a cookie sheet, or you can air dry your ornaments four to five days. And when they're done, you could paint them and put a clear coat on them. So how is everyone doing today? Chef Sketty's doing great. This is a perfect recipe. You can find it all over the internet. For salt dough ornaments. A Pac-Man ornament, we can make one of those. I have an assistant here. My assistant, Mr. Skeddy, is here. My son, little Mr. Skeddy. Pac-Man ornament, remind me, honey. When I go live, I have a tendency to get very forgetful. The whole family can join in on this. I wouldn't recommend eating it with all the salt. It would taste terrible, but. So these are not edible, these ornaments. These are just for decorative purposes. I 
I don't need any more water. I have extra dusting flour here. My kids are in the back here. This is called a bench scraper, okay? I'm gonna cut this into two pieces. And the other one I'm gonna do cinnamon salt dough ornaments. Hi Brenda, welcome in honey. We're doing decorative ornaments today, not edible ornaments. These are ornaments that you can roll out and bake them or air dry them and hang them as decorations for your tree or some presents. So here we have our dough. It's not really necessary to knead the dough to form glue. I might have stars in here. I got a container of ornaments here. I'm sure there's a star here. I haven't gone through them all. I just opened them up. I just got these. You can make a hole into your 
cut out ornament here using a straw or a chopstick or even a back of a spoon really if you've not got a straw or a chopstick I just made a hole in the Santa hat I'll make a little hole in the candy and for the angel I'll make a tiny hole in her and what I'm going to use is the tip of this tea light candle see how it's really sharp right there I don't want to make her. she's going to look like the Cyclops that's who she is she's the Cyclops of the angel world okay what do we got here Christmas balls, Christmas lights, there's your star Judy, right next to me I have a tray to put these ornaments on. So here's what I have so far. I'm gonna put my coffee over here. I also have hooks. So I could have taken the, the hook and made the hole so she's not so cyclopsy, but we like the cyclops angel, right? So you could have just put a hole using your ornament hook there too. Hi, Super Dave, welcome in. make some faceless some angels sounds good Huh, Nova? Well, welcome in from Ireland, honey. It's always nice to see you here. You know, another easy way to get your dough to be perfect and not make mistakes is just kind of pull it well. The cookie cutter is still there, see? Oh, sorry, Dave. I'm not paying too much attention here. These are salt dough ornaments for gifts to hang on your tree. Decorative ornaments. I like the shape that this spoon gives. It gives it a boxy shape to the 
ornament I'll show you you see how it's kind of square and perfect that's the back of my bartender spoon there just in case if y'all have a bartender spoon multi-purpose I also use this spoon for making chocolates during the holidays so I'll be showing you how we do chocolates here Yes, we're going to paint them once they dry. That's right, Dave. Thank you. I've got a half dozen already, which is good, because we all know the cost of a bag of flour at the dollar store is $1.25. And salt at the grocery store is 69 cents. So you're under $2 to make these. And I have six here. And if you have some jute cording or any kind of ribbon to put on a present for somebody or just give them the gift or put it in your own tree and share the, share the craft with the kids, this is pretty easy for the kids to come in and help out without eating it, you could just let them play with it. And then maybe you can make some sugar cookie dough for the kids to play with and eat also, you know. We're gonna also mix up cinnamon. I don't wanna get my hands colored yet. So I have a cinnamon batch here. Don't forget to wear your mittens in case you're up in the cold today. No mittens necessary here in Florida. There's our gingerbread man. I'll save him out for the cinnamon. I'm going to make a couple gingerbread cookies, ornament cookies looking. It looks like a truck with a, a tree, so that's cute. And here's your stocking out there. Judy May, Amazon is coming. Stuff in your stocking full of goodies. And then we got a candy cane. I showed earlier that you can, this is from Walmart, 18 cookie cutters. They're stainless steel. $10.98 right now at Walmart. vehicles are worth watching and there's an ev that's right for just about every lifestyle head to scene on ev.com to learn more the all new mercury g tim barato uh, all boards were created to power your great so we'll do a mitten with memories of trophy catches and epic sunsets with hours of laughter and a candy cane and water to explore at 350 or 400 horsepower, the new Murado Outboards combine extraordinary capabilities with premium refinements that make boating effortless. Everything you need to confidently pursue your greatest adventures. Mercury engines are made for exploring. So are you. Go Hi, Mr. Whistle. Welcome in. Two, two. Two, two. I'm making salt dough ornaments. They're a quality car insurance company with great programs. And they've been saving people money for nearly 60 years. Plus... Super the candy cane. I don't know where I want to put the hole in the candy cane. Maybe like kind of in the center so it. Do routine accounting tasks make you feel invisible? Where is my bench scraper? And you'll not only have the skill to be seen. You'll have the skills it takes to be heard. Learn how to step up your career at cmacertification.org.
to the truck. I've been getting some holiday cards. Can you see? All sorts of cards came in. They're hanging up on my back here. I'll adjust the screen in a little while after I'm finished. I'm going to mix up I'm going to mix up the cinnamon ones now. I'm deciding I'm going to save a little cinnamon for dusting. Smells delicious. There's also recipes out there with the cinnamon. You could add applesauce, but we're going to conserve our ingredients. Since we're not going to eat these anyway. If you need water, you can add a drop or two of water, but I wouldn't add much. There's a lot of moisture. If you just keep going, you'll get there with a cinnamon dough. I should have wet the, wet the bottom of my pastry mat before I started, but I didn't spray it, so it's... Get all those ingredients in there. Okay. A couple gingerbread men. Yes, Judy May, of course I would be willing... Email me at Chef Sketty so I can send you a schedule, or you could let me know a schedule. I need to get your email address. Is that on your about page, Judy? I want to discuss with you the shipping of your stocking. I made these a little thicker. You can make your cinnamon dough ornaments as thick as you want. Keep in mind, they are gonna take a beating maybe falling off the tree, especially if you have a pet. I know Jackie, she's gonna be into this. So I, I'm gonna put googly eyes on these guys once they're dry. That's why I have a couple googly eyes here. So I'm gonna make kind of a divot just to get the glue gun a little pocket. I'm not gonna put a hole in my gingerbread men. I'm gonna glue gun my jute to the back because there's a lot of decorating that goes on with these folks, these little gingerbread folks here. 
So I'm just making a little divot for the hot glue. And then I'm gonna glue a ribbon on the back. Use your creativity. Your brain is an endless machine upstairs that's constantly wanting to give you new ideas. So open up your creativity and go wild and let the kids offer suggestions and make your salt dough ornaments however you choose. With enough practice, you could make squares and angles and make little gingerbread houses and put them together with frosting that's not edible kind of frosting you can use a heavily frosting with a crema tatar it would make a real heavy firm hold i'm going to make a cinnamon mitten and i'm not putting a dowel through these either these are going to have ribbons so i don't want any dowel marks Let me know when you have any time in mind, Judy May. Email me at chefsketty.com. So what next? How about one of those trucks? That would be cute. I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do with the truck? This is going to be cute. Once it dries, I'm going to take a real piece of greenery and add that as its tree. And then I'll paint the truck in. Okay, honey. Well, you know what? I can connect up today to you at one o'clock and we'll see what happens. I tried yesterday to do a, a connect together, go live together, and it, it wouldn't work for me. So I had to start up a new live, but I'm available today. Yes, Judy. My schedule's fully open. So this is the truck. And again, use your imagination. You can add candies and you could add clear coat at the end and keep these forever if you're careful with them. A lot of families year after year make these as a tradition. I see a snowflake. What time is it, Judy? 10.30? Okay. That'll give me enough time to run out and do something, so I'm here for you. Okay, hon? The snowflake I'm going to leave. You know what? I'm going to put a dowel mark in there. I'll let that one be a hanger. We're getting down to the bottom of the pile, guys. It would help if I was in the live chat, right? Brenda, it's scheduled to come tomorrow. That's what my shipping statement says, Monday. But if you don't get it tomorrow, let me know because I do have that statement. It's a pretty long statement. I had a lot of outgoing mail that day, but actually your address is right on top. I must have been the first one going out. A gingerbread house, perfect, because we're getting down to the bottom of the barrel here. So Sketty will make a gingerbread house. And I know a little trick, but I don't have any hard candy with me. If you bake this with a little sprinkling of crushed hard candy, you can make stained glass windows. That's what I do when I'm decorating gingerbread houses. So what I'll do is I'll cut out a window.
Okay, I scored and made windows. I scored out the roof and the door for future plans, and then I made some windows. And what I'll do is I'm going to put lighting into this. you about electric vehicles. The shows are entertaining and informative. With no Hi, welcome in, Lisa. Hi. That's flipping crazy over here. And there's an EV that's right for just about every lifestyle. Just to see on EV.com to learn more. The all-new Mercury D10 Delilah Outdoors were killed to power your greatest days. Days filled with memories of trophy catches and of the sunsets with hours of laughter and miles of water to explore. I got 16 here and one more. I think I can do 17. Oh, you got it? Good. Hi, welcome in, Chris. You can do Rudolph. I might be able to get one more. So Rudolph, you need... You need some scoring. Let's see. Your nose. Chevron the Tech gets you unbeatable mileage for your next unbeatable destination. Find your favorite company or get into a Download the Chevron app now and find on the Rudolph.
off until two hours. The other half, I'm going to air dry four to five days. And we'll see the texture. I want to see the difference between the texture of both. Hello. Nice to see you all. Get in. Come on in closer. How's everybody? Hi, Sheena. Welcome in, honey. Let me clean up here. There. I didn't even make that big of a mess today. Happy Vlogmas, everyone. Oh, okay. You can wait to open it. No worry. Yeah, you got a couple packages stuck up in Atlanta, huh? That's no surprise. So I've been pretend baking today. Oh, sorry. I hit something. Let me fix this before I make a mistake. There we go. Everyone saying hello. Hello, everyone. I'm glad you could make it. We made some cute things today. Cyclops Angel. She has one hole. So she'll look like a Cyclops in the end. Thank you, Judy. So sure, Judy, I'll try to connect up with you and figure out how that goes. I'll be live on Judy May's channel today if we can work it out. Judy, go ahead and drop again the full details of 1, 1 p.m. And I'm not sure if you're Eastern, hon. You could be Central. You like angels? Here you go, honey. There's an angel. And there's been times where, here's my Christmas tree. I could be dirty. I'm not that dirty, but it could be cluttered. I haven't decorated my tree for my desk yet. Yes, I have. I have Hermione. But I can just take the little ornaments and hang them on the tree. I've done that many times. I'm not sure what Judy has planned. Is this a talk show? Oh, we'll talk. Hi, Nora. Good morning. Thank you, Sheena. So, yeah, a lot of times in the past when I don't have enough ornaments, I'll just take a ribbon and tie it around a cookie cutter and put it on the tree. They, they pick up a lot of light. Good morning. Good morning, Nora. Good morning. And I also have googly eyes. Once the gingerbread men are done, I make gingerbread men. We'll pretend like he's done already. See, I'm going to glue on the, the googly eye. Oh. For people out there who have difficulty with their hands, life gets a little rough. But when you have certain things to help you out, I have a pair of, I'm going to show you my, yeah, all the glue. These are my chef plating tweezers. So I can take my plating tweezers. And then I'm going to glue on the eyes. That's exactly what I'm doing, Sheena. Yeah. This is affordable. I got the bag of flour at the Dollar Tree. And the salt was under a dollar at Publix. And the cinnamon was 89 cents. And now everyone I know practically can get these ornaments. I'm going to put them on presents and my tree. I got a whole pan of them here. Half of them I'm going to cook in the oven at 250 degrees. And the other half I'm going to let air dry four to five days. And I want to...
Okay. I, I could try that. My earbuds, they bother me, but I, I could try it. My husband even said the same thing to me to wear my earbuds. That way you don't get copyrighted. Okay. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Just having that in my ear. I'll try it. It's funny you mentioned that. My husband just last night told me, why don't I ever listen on my earbuds? And I was like, oh, I was afraid if it would fall out or I'll try it. If it works for you, I'll try it. No worry. So this is all I have left for my, my salt dough. I could probably even make something out of that. You're going to be frugal these days. I mean, look what I did. I just pushed down on my bench scraper and made a little. This is the one where you could get your baby's little fingerprint there. I'll put my fingerprint in it. There. Chef Sketty. 2000. Chris is saying hi. May the peace and joy of holiday season remain with you always. To Chef Sketty. Thank you. This isn't anyone on YouTube. Yeah. It is pretty. I'm getting it together here. I found my little angel plate. I got to clean her up a little bit. So I'll have, hi Moon over Miami, I'll have some little desserts for my Skeddies when they come home this month. I plan on doing some extra sweets for them. It's coming up to 11 o'clock and I think Nora the Stock Explorer will be live soon. So Chef Skeddy can end her stream soon. We all can say catch up with each other for a minute here you're, you're 41 away flipping crazy that's awesome have a good day moon over miami thanks for coming in do routine accounting tasks make you feel invisible become a certified management accountant 
This is what I use. I'm going to have cooking classes coming up soon. So I have these to show you. And they easily come clean. And I can just keep writing on them over and over my ingredients. See how I did that today? I had everything ready for you so you could see what you needed. And they just stack all up and you can put them out of your way. Aren't those nice, Judy May? Yeah, these are nice. We get these at the bakery. All of the desserts, these are dessert dishes. And all of our, once you place an order for desserts at the bakery, you get a free dessert dish with it. So, of course, I've got a pretty big selection of customers who, you, you wouldn't believe the amount of customers that don't want a free dessert dish. So I'll, I get, take them home and I got a big collection of them. So if anybody wants any dessert dishes, let me know. Because we got more than we know what to do with. I, I take other kinds I don't have in front of me. They're they're for the creme brulee, the for the under the broiling. They take they're heat resistant, and those are more shallow. And I use those for pet food. So we donate them to Molly Mutt for their pet food dishes. You're welcome, Sheena, honey. Yeah, and, and candle holders and all sorts of things. So, you know, these are awesome. You'll see, even in the grocery stores now, if you're in the frozen food section, you'll notice a lot of these desserts are coming prepackaged like this. The tiramisu, this is how it's served. It comes in and from the factory, and it's all got the tiramisu in there, all ready to roll. We just put it out in the case. Yeah, right. Me some pause. Yep. Prep ahead. Yeah, the ramekins, monkey dishes. We have all sorts of names for them. And I have them. They're cone shaped, and then I have like a flat glass shape that's more like this shaped. So they don't topple. Thanks for coming, everyone. We're five minutes to Nora's Live, and Chef sketty has got to go clean her hands. I've never liked having dirty hands before because I'm, you know, touching my computer and everything. I love you, Mom. I want to say that again. My, I know my mom. She likes to watch my channel. So I'm always going to say I love you, Mom, because you're here. And I love you. And I love you, too. Thanks for being part of my salt dough vlogmas day four. Take one. No retakes today. No Chef Sketty bloopers. Sorry. I always have a blooper or two. Yesterday, all day long, I called it Vlogtober. Hey, Vlogtober. Ah. And I'm watching the replay, and I'm like, wow. Chef Sketty, you have got to get off the train wreck you are on. Get it together, girl. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you all. And I'll see you the next time. It's Vlogtober. I'll see you soon. Very soon. Take care, everybody. Once again. Nice to have you here. Bye now.